Hello friends, my name is Eric Cloward and welcome to the Stoic Coffee Break. The Stoic Coffee Break is a weekly podcast where I take an aspect of Stoicism and do my best to break it down to its most important points and talk about how we can apply it in our daily lives. I share my successes and my failures and hope that you can learn something from my experience all within the space of a coffee break. This week's episode is called The Long Ride. Epictetus said, The greater the difficulty, the more glory in surmounting it. Skillful pilots gain their reputation from storms and tempests. Do you think that life is meant to be comfortable? Do you make choices in your life to take the easy path and avoid discomfort? If so, then you may not be living a life as full as you could. So much of our lives are built around convenience. And this extends to many areas of our lives. The way that we eat and shop, the way that we find entertainment, even how we date. We want things to be easy, and we often complain when things are hard, and we whine when things don't go the way that we want. So much of the technology and the inventions that are created and sold in our lives is all about convenience. But are we shortchanging ourselves by taking the easy path? Robert Greene said, Too many people believe that everything must be pleasurable in life. When I was really into cycling, I would take off every other Friday and head out for a solo 72-mile ride in the morning. I simply called it the long ride. I'd ride out to one of my favorite coffee shops and have a ham, egg, and cheese bagel sandwich for lunch and then head out to finish the long loop all the way home. It would usually take me about four to five hours and when I got home, I'd crash for a few hours and then go pick up my kids from school. Some people thought I was crazy, but I absolutely loved it. It was right after my divorce, and I had very little money to take any kind of vacation anywhere, so so I used my vacation time for writing. Now, writing like that did several things for me. It was a way for me to push myself to my edge. When you ride a distance like that, you have to know how to pace yourself so that you have enough energy reserve to make it home without calling a friend to come pick you up. You push yourself to your edge to see if you can climb those hills a little faster, or increase your pace across a flat stretch of road by a mile or two faster than you did last time, testing yourself and increasing your strength, or on tough days, just making you back home always created such a feeling of accomplishment. It was also my Zen time. It was my time for thinking and working through the challenges I was facing in my life. It was also a time where I could just focus on being in the moment. When you're flying along a country road on a warm summer day with your legs pumping and lungs breathing in air scented with raspberries and clover, You hit this flow state where everything feels perfect. It's one of the most energizing and amazing feelings in the world. The ancient sage said, start living in discomfort. Gradually increase it little by little, and you will steadily grow. If you want sudden growth, deluge yourself in great discomfort and do not retreat from it. The more discomfort you are willing to bear, the more you can grow. To get to where you can do a long ride and just take off and ride 72 miles in a few hours, you have to put in the work. You have to build muscle. You have to put miles on your bike. You have to be able to climb. And you have to learn how to pace yourself so that you can make it out and back home. It's not something you can pick up and do in just a few days or weeks. It's something that you have to put the miles in week after week for a few years. And every time you go out, You push yourself just a little more. You take those hills that you know will hurt. You drop into the lowest gear and you start pedaling. And when you can, you bump it up a gear. You gradually increase that discomfort by taking the hill a little faster than you did the time before. You cut a few minutes off your overall time. Brooke Castillo says, Discomfort is the currency of success. I think everyone needs something like a long ride that they're working towards in their life. And why do I think this? Because when you practice learning how to face uncomfortable situations in one part of your life, it makes it easier to face uncomfortable things in another area. You learn how to find your edge, and you learn how to push past it. If you've been practicing taking on that hill one pedal push at a time, you'll probably be more willing to sit through a tough conversation that makes you feel vulnerable and uncomfortable. Now, It isn't guaranteed by any means. Just because you're great in one area of your life doesn't mean you'll be great in another area. 
I think you need to be mindful about applying skills across disciplines. But if you've never really had to work hard for anything, never pushed yourself out of your comfort zone, then you're probably lacking the tenacity you need to see things through. In fact, since I've slacked off from my writing over the last few years, I've noticed that my tolerance for dealing with challenging situations is not where it used to be. I've started training to get back in shape where I can take some of my long rides. It's not easy, and I'm nowhere near the shape that I was in, and I've picked up some really bad habits, especially in my diet, that I definitely need to change in order to reach that level of performance again. I'm also older, and I have to make allowances for how my body has aged. But I know that the benefits both in physical and mental health that come with training for my long rides will certainly be worth it. It'll take mindfulness to plan workouts and diet, as well as managing my time in order to fit in the training and the rides needed. It'll take discipline to make sure that I don't skip training just because I don't feel like it. Nassim Nicholas Taleb says, Comfort makes you weaker. We need some variability, some stressors. Not too much, but just enough. So what is your long ride? What is the thing that you want to get better at that you know the only way to do it is to put in hard work? Maybe you want to bench press your body weight or break your personal record in running a 10K. Maybe it's coding your own application or starting a business. Maybe it's learning how to speak another language or sing in front of other people. Whatever it is, are you putting in the hard work? Are you pushing yourself to your edge, strengthening those muscles, whether physical or mental, and building the skills? Or are you just putting in the bare minimum, trying to fool yourself that somehow your minimal effort will be enough? Or maybe you're not even pursuing it at all and just leaving it for someday. If there is something that you've been wanting to do but you keep putting off, take a look at why. What is it that keeps you from doing it? What is it that you're afraid of? What excuses do you tell yourself so that you keep pushing off working on your long ride? Maybe you're scared because you might fail. Maybe you're scared because you'll succeed. And I'm sure that like all of us, you can come up with all kinds of excuses. There is never enough time, and there is never a perfect time to get started. When you start planning for your long ride, you start with something small, such as setting aside a little time each day just to come up with a plan. Once you have a plan, start executing on your plan. Make the steps just a little more challenging than you think you can accomplish. And make sure that with each step, you're just a little outside your comfort zone. Every now and then, really step out of your comfort zone and stretch yourself. Maybe that's an extra 10 miles on your ride or an extra 5K on your run. Maybe it's picking out a song that you're scared to sing because it's a little out of your comfortable range. Whatever it is, make sure that you're always pushing yourself to that edge. A life in search of comfort is a life spent taking the easy path. It is also a life where you never know what your full potential is nor do you push yourself towards reaching that potential. Find your long ride and work towards pushing yourself to your edges. It's only when you step out of your comfort zone that you find growth, and it's in the unfamiliar that you find new possibilities. And that's the end of this week's Stoic Coffee Break. Be good to yourself, be good to others, and thanks for listening.